had I come across Pious Court? Well, um, I read the most incredible book um, called Stumm by a guy called Jem Lester. And it's the first time I'd come across anything in um, you know, uh, the media that was related, relatable and related to, to us and our story. He dealt with um, Jem's son, who's uh, severely autistic, and it was our story, it was our life. I read it uh, like in a few days, weeping and weeping. Um, I'd never read anything as powerful as it. And finally I was like, this is our story. And, and in it, Jem talks about, you know, when he's making that heartbreaking decision that you actually, your child would thrive better and have their me needs met elsewhere. And um, it's a residential school and, and, and that school is Prior's Court. Um, and so that kind of got Prior's Court onto my radar. Um, and then just reading about it and, and, and looking at what it did and the ethos behind it, you know, how it was set up and, and how it came to be and the independence of it, the fact that it's not, you know, owned by some, you know, kind of big profit-making American company or, you know, that it's safe, it's its own kind of independent ethos. Everything about it, I was like, my God, if we have to let our child have, spend most of their time in the company uh, of, of, of a residential place, it, it has to be Prior's Court, and there was no doubt in my mind um, that, that there was nowhere else but there. And we went to an open day, and, and Claire, wonderful Claire, showed me and Zan round, and we sat in the car afterwards, obviously pretty hit by the enormity of what we were about to do. But you sit there, surrounded by this beautiful nature, seeing these kids just the connection between them and their carers, you know, and, and just the input, how not one single child there is written off. You know, it's like you could just see the amongst the carers that we saw and the teachers and the practitioners, just this fierce kind of loyalty and drive and pride and showing us what they were doing with these amazing kids and just like, where so many people have written Zach off and just want to outside give him the minimum. Here was somewhere where he would be absolutely at the heart of everyone's day and everyone, blood, sweat and tears, will work to be able to give him the life he deserves and needs. And yeah, and then it just became an obsession and my principal and, and in fact my proudest moment actually was getting Zach, was being able to fight to get Zach into prize court. I will never, yeah, I'll never do anything as, as, that I'm as proud of as that, you know, because I can just look, look in the mirror and go, I, we fought for our boy and he is in the most incredible place. It's gonna give him a life like no other. So, you know, it was always going to be prize.